Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. During these unprecedented times, we want to stay connected and do our best to ensure the continuity of your child's education. We recognize that during this age of social distancing, public education looks completely different. Many of our administrators, teachers, and support staff are faced with similar challenges as you. They are interacting with and teaching your child while trying to conduct their own homeschool setting for their children. They too may be faced with challenges from their own children that they have never encountered before. So we are all in this together, working together as one team, one day at a time, doing our personal best while giving ourselves and each other grace. What is a power struggle? A power struggle is when a child refuses to do something and the adult continues to insist on the child doing the task. Oftentimes, the child and adult continue to banter back and forth in a tug of war for control. Usually, the adult is making statements like, you will do it because I said so, or don't argue, just do it now, while the child may shut down, talk back, tantrum, ignore, run away, and or refuse to participate. Through these reactions, each party is attempting to get their needs met by wearing the other person down. Unfortunately, the longer this continues, the harder it will be to get the child to comply. In the end, if the adult gives in to the child's demands to stop the negative behavior, the likelihood is that the child will use the same negative behavior in the future to get their needs met. In a power struggle, neither party wins. A power struggle should be viewed as an attempt by the child to get their needs met by gaining control of a situation when they might be feeling many things such as powerless, embarrassed, unsuccessful, confused, inadequate, misunderstood, anxious, or tired, just to name a few. In our current situation, many of us may be feeling these exact same emotions. Power struggles should be seen as a normal response by children experiencing stress and anxiety with all the big changes that are happening in our daily lives due to COVID-19. The power struggles can be managed if the adults figure out why they are occurring, how to effectively intervene, and how to minimize them in the future. Power struggles can be very stressful, unsettling, and frustrating for the entire family. Remember, you are not alone. We are here to help support and assist you as we all move into these next phases of distance learning. Next, we are going to talk about ways adults can avoid these power struggle traps. As you find yourself in your new role supporting your child's learning, we want to share several ideas with you that will help improve the likelihood of a calm, positive, and predictable environment for you and your child. We realize that during the school day, you have many other jobs to do besides supporting your child's education. Many of you are attempting to balance home, school, and work, and this may be causing you to feel overwhelmed and stressed. Not to mention, you may have other children in your home who will also need your attention, support, and assistance at the same time. Remember to grant yourself, your child, and your child's teacher grace and patience. Distance learning is new to all of us, and mistakes will be made. Hopefully, these simple tips will help support you and your child as you navigate new roles in your home. Set up a dedicated learning space. Set up a dedicated learning space that has little or no distractions and contains any supplies you think you might need for the day. Set a daily schedule with some input from your child. But stress to your child that they may need to practice flexibility just in case there are interruptions or a change in plans. In your schedule, remember to include not only the academic activities, but also independent learning, brain breaks, singing, meals and snack times, free play, quiet break times, supplemental learning, chores, art, baking, gardening, or playing games, just to name a few. At the beginning of each day, review school and home expectations and the daily schedule so your child would know what to expect, making their day consistent and predictable. Discuss and remind your child daily what your expectations are if you need to work, take a phone call, accomplish a task, or interact with a sibling. Agree upon activities that they can successfully do independently. Remember, if there is a discrepancy between the adult's expectations and the child's performance, this can be frustrating for everyone. Monitor your child's ability to endure their focus and a calm body throughout the day. If your child is unable to stay in their seat and focus, a change in activity shouldn't be seen as a punishment, but as an opportunity for everyone to take a brain break, even if it is not in the schedule. Give children choices in their daily tasks and expectations. Give them two choices that they can choose from that you can live with. 
make sure the given choices are obtainable and the student can be successful. For example, can you do three or five math problems today? You circle the problems you have chosen to do. Giving the power of choice to a student sends the message that you believe they are capable of completing that task. Maintain a positive attitude and a healthy growth mindset about distance learning, the assignments or tasks given, your child's teacher, your child, and yourself. Saying things like, this is hard but we'll do our best, work on it together, and take a break after we've worked for 10 minutes can help make learning a more positive experience. Determine daily what level your child is on and avoid pushing them past their limits. Remember, your home is not a school, and it should remain your child's place of peace and safety. Use timers to simulate a school bell and the beginning or the end of an activity. Timers may also be used to give children more choice in their school day. For example, do you think you can complete this assignment in 7 minutes or 8 minutes? Alternate between preferred and non-preferred activities. During a preferred activity, it is important to give a child some power or choice in how the work or task is completed. Often, a non-preferred task is something that is difficult for the child to do and therefore they do not like the task. It is crucial to avoid a power struggle during a non-preferred activity since the child is probably using their negative behavior to avoid working on the non-preferred activity. If this avoidance is successful, you can be certain they will try this technique in the future to avoid feeling inadequate, embarrassed, or anxious. To avoid this situation, you can agree prior to starting work that the child can first work on the non-preferred task for a chosen amount of time and then go to a preferred task for the same amount of time. Once the preferred task is complete, the cycle can continue or you can move on to a new task. Acknowledge that the student has been given the control to make choices and to make their own behavioral choices and that you will wait until they make the right choice. This sends the message that you will wait because you know they are capable of making the right choice. Predetermine a cool-down spot with your child. Select a location that can continue to be supervised by an adult. Use a timer and determine the length of the break. Prior to using this space, ask your child what would help them calm down if they were to escalate and make sure the space is stocked with those items. After the break, the child needs to return to the activity they were engaged in prior to taking a cool-down break. Sometimes, no matter how many things you try, a child may still become engaged in a power struggle. Remember, you are not alone. You can contact your child's teacher or other school personnel to ask for assistance. Together, you can determine what are the best steps to take in order to avoid power struggles. We hope this video was helpful as you support your child with distance learning. As we said before, give yourself grace as you learn to incorporate academic routines into your home life. If you find yourself engaging in a power struggle, Know that this is normal and will happen. We have created a video, part two, to provide ideas on how to disengage from a power struggle. If you are interested in watching, please refer to our list of videos for disengaging from a power struggle.